to cut that out. You're crazy. I just screamed. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to Tavia Talk. On. Collins Cosmos. Yes, it is. Good morning to all of those who are listening. And Happy New Year. Um, if you're watching, I'm a brunette. Like little hair on here. Yeah, it's probably dog hair. Um, <clears throat> I'm a brunette. Get really wedged in there. Yeah, Tavia's a brunette. We're very color coordinated today. She's mm -hmm. wearing a lavender. I'm wearing a baby blue. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it gets much better. No, and I feel like I feel like it was a little suspect on the hair change color choice, and then it got better. No, I thought you wanted dark. You saw the picture. Yeah, I don't remember. That's this isn't it. It, it was we, dark with like blonde like, tips. On the blonde tips. Okay. Right. All right. It was more of like a balayage but now we're just like kind of brunette with some blonde, which like I'm a, good. Like a reverse balayage? Right, which is, which I'm good because you know I do like some dimensions. So if it was all brown, I'd feel right. dark and flat. Yeah. How often are you going in? These days. They're throwing up. Uh, how, how often are you going in now? Um, Honestly, I kind of just wing it. Like I went in before Chris. Did you wing it? Winged it. I went in, I think, before... Shouldn't you just be on the schedule, like, every six weeks? Yeah. No, my God. Absolutely not that often. <laughs> uh, no. But now that it's dark, because that's, like, actually pretty close to my real hair. Is it? Yeah. Oh. That's how dark I am. So I should be able to grow this thing out and not pay Samantha for a solid few months. For a year. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. She got a notification <laughs> on her phone yesterday that was, like, new episode of Colin Cosmos because I was on her phone. Oh. So she gets it, but she's like, I just don't watch it. I was like, and it literally said like bridal or bridesmaids party or bridal. Oh yeah, something. it was about her. Bachelor party. And I'm like, you don't watch it when it literally it's like all about you says, every week. Yeah, we're not talking about her. Two minutes in, done. Done. New subject. No, I do like your brown, your dark hair. It's Thank very you. winter. Thank you. I was going to. you didn't chop it. I, I was, think we're yeah. going to chop it for summer, right? Maybe. We'll see how long it gets because do you remember the girl? Do you remember me? I used to have like this long hair. Yeah. I just I'm, don't know if I'm that girl anymore. I like the short better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to cough right in my mouth. I know. I feel like maybe the short is me. I like the short. Yeah. I've been told by several men other than my husband. Men? Men. Even my husband. That I think the short is me. It's like more flirty <clears throat> and fun. That's your personality. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I love you. What? <laughs> I am flirty and fun. Don't let it go to your head. Um, do you see this gap? Hold on. I have to suck in a little air so you can actually see it. It's already. Yeah. Do you have not have a retainer? Well, I have a night guard from high school. So when I s put that bitch in, it's like, <laughs> and I get high school teeth. Yeah. But it hurts. Like you can't oh, even yeah. kiss me the next day because <laughs> it just done effed up my mouth. So I got. <laughs> probably need to wear that a couple nights in a row. It hurts. Like I find it on my pillow in the morning because I'm like, oh, and I took it out. You need to wear it more often. That's what it's. I know you. it's gagging me. I I told you that I wear a night guard now, and I kind of like it. That's what I have is a night guard, but it's so thick. My I thought, oh, and I talk to Luke, and then sometimes I go, and I click it out. <laughs> oh, mine is so <laughs> snug that I can't. I can't. Oh, I, I can't when I first do it because again, it clips me into high school teeth. Yeah. And these are not high school teeth. But I just grind on that thing all night long. <laughs> like, I'm like wearing down the top. They're like, oh, this is going to last five years. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll show you. Yeah, I know. Mine's like completely indented on the bottom. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you need that. to wear it more often. You're going to fuck your so teeth So here's up. what I'm going to do. I have a con I'm going to make a consultation to the orthodontist. And I think I might get Invisalign to pinch that back together. Would you just wear your retainer? It's, it's going to save you three thousand dollars. No, it's it's just not doing it anymore because oh. I think the night guard is so old. It's just so <laughs> jacked up. <laughs> it's not doing it. So I am going to get Invisalign. Okay. But tell me, I don't want to fix this tooth. Why? I don't know. I think it's like kind of me. Yeah. Now I'm just staring at your mouth. I know. And I said that, and then I started looking at it. I'm like, do I look fucked up with this tooth? <laughs> And I always like I always thought it was like a character piece. Yeah. And now I'm like, do I just look like a fucking train wreck? Um, let's look. <laughs> it's this one, guys. This tooth. It's not really that of a. You see the gap? It's not that bad. I can like it's stick. Not that bad. But if you're okay, here's my opinion. If you're gonna go through, but look at how cute I am with that snaggle. <laughs> 
look like every other basic bitch out there with straight teeth. Okay, so here's what I think. <laughs> if you are going to go through the whole Invisalign thing, I don't think it's going to be as easy as you think. You never oh, had watch braces, me. did you? Watch me. You never had braces, No, but watch me. You have to have it in all day. Good, like right I'll now, be skinny. Right now, you I'll have to have it in. I'll be skinny. No, and then you, have you seen people that have it? They take it out, put it on a napkin. It's disgusting. It's got food in it. And you just set it right next to your, your food as you're eating it. It's so gross. And you just go ahead and pop it right back in. This is actually going to be a weight loss, I think, because then I can't eat string cheese while I wait for you. But let's see, you'd have to have it in right now and you'd have a lisp. No, you get used to it. Yes, you do. Okay. Or I, like I think man. I think there's braces that they can put on the back of my teeth. Back here. Oh, why don't you just get a full set of just normal braces and <clears throat> wear it for three months and just be done? Okay. You go get a full set of braces and get okay. back to me. I just remember I had to like always like <laughs> Did Olivia do that? She still has them on, right? She gets them off on Monday. Oh my gosh, she's so excited. Yeah, she's pumped. Nine a or eight a.m. So she gets to go to school late, because I'm a good mom. But I remember <coughs> always like, literally like my teeth would get like stuck, stuck and, like, and then they're like dry, so you gotta like moisten them and then, yeah, you're in for a real treat. Is what But I think my lip to tooth ratio is different. Way different. <laughs> but I do feel like my gums, sometimes I smile and I think I'm gonna have, see if, if I have a lip tie because sometimes I gum to do- A lip tie? Yeah. What does that do? Savannah has one. What does that mean? So like when she was nursing, I could tell because her little lip, it, you know, like, uh-huh. Oh yeah. Mm, you get one on your gross. lip. You get one up here too. You Ooh, have one. Okay. Feel. Mm, okay. Now, you want me to touch? No. So anyway, sometimes it's, it's closer to the front of your lip. So when we were nursing, like she couldn't get her lip over this gigantuan breast <laughs> nipple. And I should have had it cut then. Oh, to no. Help her, to help her. No, cut. Kids get it cut so that they have a lip tie so they can actually latch. It's a thing. Oh, I've never heard of this. I have two friends that had to get their kids tongue tie and their lip tie. It sounds barbaric. And I will have no part of this. So does circumcision. Oh, that my God. Oh, too. no, 100%. I, if I had a little boy, I would not have him snipped. Mm, okay, well, anyways, the point is... It's his choice. It's sometimes when not we, yours. Sometimes when we smile, we just get, like, too much gum. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, we don't want that. So you're going to have it cut. I don't know if I actually have one, so I might be fucked. Okay, you're just cursing up a storm. I'm sorry. I think I did too. <laughs> but Jimmy, she has time if she decides that she wants oh, to. Oh, no. This is her not. choice. If she gets to an age where she's like, I got too much gum, I'm going to be like, great, I can fix that. Anything's possible. Do not put them on your on your train of doing things yourself. Okay. Also, Botox. Yes? <laughs> no. What do you think? No, Janelle is like begging me. We're not okay, so right here's now. what I'm thinking. Let's do it. Because I was looking in the mirror the other day, and these things are just like a cut crease. You talk about doing a cut crease on my eyelid. These things are like indented. Look at them. I know. I see. They're stuck. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. And you gotta, I got this one up here. You see that line? You got to get it now because it's just going to get like deeper. Deeper. And then mm -hmm. you're going to be that 60-year-old that could stick a penny mm -hmm. in there. Yeah. yeah, no, Janelle is like... When I was like so busy running around whatever last weekend, she's like, yeah, let's get Botox. And I'm like, yeah, okay. And she's like, you don't seem very excited about it. You've been telling me about this forever. You she's don't need like it. in March. Your face is like perfectly smooth. Well, I want to keep it that way. Oh. And also I don't want wrinkles around my eyes. I would want it right here no. and up here. Do not do it right around your eyes. Yeah, nope. I am. Mm -hmm. You know who did that? Ashley did that. And then I saw her on the phone. She had a wonky eye. <laughs> That's a thing. I've, I've showed that. you that girl. <laughs> yeah. And she has to wear her hair like this. Yeah. I like, can't do that. I you have to wear, she hair. wears her hair like this because <laughs> when she when she takes her thing, it looks like she had a stroke. <laughs> it's all yeah, I've seen melted. Mm -hmm. So anyways, Ashley did it. And then what happened is it, it drained down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so every time she smiled, her cheek would like puff up and close her eye. It was like chipmunk cheeks. And I was on the phone there and we were on FaceTime. I was like... <laughs> Did so, she go to like a Groupon place? Or no, they... she went to like her place and the lady's like, sometimes that happens. It just kind of like seeps and paralyzes. So then it's like a chipmunk. <laughs> I was like, please don't do that ever again. No, I'm getting it right. That's what I, I don't want crow's feet. I don't care about those. This. Yeah, you're not good. You're going to care about crow's feet once you start getting them. Because you do have I lines have and now you're caring about them. Do I have them. those? And when you smile. Well, duh. And they're not touching my laugh lines either. We're not trying to be like... 
<laughs> that. Anyways. My mom got filler and it actually looked really good. And her laugh lines. So your mom's Jeff on my it. page. She'll do what she wants to do to make herself feel good. Oh, 100%. Yeah, so she'd cut her lip tie too if she had one. Probably. Yeah, so get off of it. She's... You want to fix your crow's feet, but you're a, you're injecting into your face, but you have an issue with just like sniffing something so my gum ratio's off. She's thinking about getting her second facelift. And I'm like, maybe we wait a few years. Second? Why do we need another one? I don't, she's like, it's not tight enough. I want to tell you. I'll tell you, you want it. Do you want it like a 20 year old she neck? She wants your neck. <laughs> yeah. I do too. I also don't like my jowls. I think one day I'm going to have to do something. Can we shave this bone? Can they like cut a slip, flap it open, zzz it down, and sew it back down? I don't know. Well, that's an option. Because look at those things. I don't know what a jowl is. Your mom does. Wait, what do you mean cut it? Don't touch like that. <laughs> a jowl. These are your jowls. This is, this is your, your chin. Your jaw. We're, when we're done, we're going to Google jowl. I think this Ask is a. your jowl. Alexa, what is a jowl? Here's something I found on the web. According to google.co.uk. Okay, this sounds like a credible source. Okay. Alexa, off. <laughs> She's wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I hope she see. took my feedback. It's incredible. Sometimes she asks, she's like, would you like me to? The girls ask, like, what's the largest animal in the world? And Savannah was trying to get her to say the polar bear. Because she's learning about polar bears. And I'm like, that's not the largest, is it? No, it's the it's whale. whale. It's so, whale. Sperm whale. The sperm whale. <laughs> Anyways. And then it's like, after it tells, it's like, would you like me to enable whale sounds for you? And <gasps> I'm shouting no. And the girl's like, yeah! I want to hear a whale sound. I was like, no, Alexa. <laughs> and the girl's like, yes. I'm like, no, I can't when she asks questions. Like, you're not here to ask questions. <laughs> you're here to respond. I got to tell you, those things freak me out. Freak me out. Sometimes like they're always listening. That, oh. Doesn't that freak you out? You're being, yeah. We're being recorded right now. You know that, right? Yeah. Like they're just If they could just tap right into that and just record you. I guess they could do it on your, they do it on your phone. They, so. they, I mean, they're listening. Everywhere. The Russians are listening. <laughs> Or the aliens. Non-binary. Yeah. Non-binary. Yeah. Um, oh, so we were having a conversation. We could talk about that. So we were having a conversation about nine non-binary people. <laughs> yeah. And we thought, uh, well, I don't know how far we want to go with this. Like, yeah. We want to bring Devon to this. Like, <laughs> we were talking to Devon. Yeah. Because and... I was trying on new jeans from Good American. We'll get to that in a second. Okay. But... Uh, we were saying that the perfect example of a non-binary person is Jeffree Star. And I think maybe we've talked about this before. Well, I think we've talked about them because they are a little weird sometimes. Not like, like, like the activities that they do. Jeffree Star? Yeah, he's just like an odd duck, oh, like out oh, there I like figured. just being crazy or like... I feel like he's calmed down. Dressing up his dogs and like wandering or I don't know. Like I feel like things he does, you're like, I don't care what he does to himself. But sometimes I'm like, what are you doing with your pink Jeep and your dogs are like strapped to the top and you're just cruising down the street? Things like I that. I don't know if he does that. Yeah, but... I feel like he has. Has he? Yeah. And now he has a but... pink Rolls Royce. Okay. I also used to obsessively watch his like TikToks. Or no, no, no. Snapchats. Snapchats. Oh, Snapchats. But is that he a thing He doesn't Snapchat anymore? anymore, I don't think. I think he just says Instagram. Oh, really? Does he I do his... he's going YouTube? through something because he's like kind of removed from social media a little bit. Oh, God. I, I wish like I was. Coming... Yeah. Me too. How do we do that? Move to Wyoming? <laughs> yeah. Is he taking on neighbors? Because I'm here <laughs> yeah. for you. You can move in between him and Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> See, again... I don't know which side you'd pick. I think I'd go towards Jeffree Star's Oh, side. absolutely. It'd be way more fun. Yeah, the other side just seems like a roller coaster. I was friendship. watching. He, li he li Jeffrey started literally. Do they just, live by each other? Yeah, I think so. Because wasn't there a rumor that they're together? Yeah, that, I don't think it's true. I, I feel like he addressed it and was like, <laughs> "No." I think that he is dating some guy named Dane because I just watched his last video, or he's released two videos. What to he's kind of getting back into it, right here. Yeah. There, everybody see. So I have a blood blister on my finger. So this was from um, spin class. I was trying to clip. Take the, one of those cages out. And yeah. it, uh, okay, sorry. Back to Jeff. Joe Jeff. I like that. Mm -hmm. Jeff. 
Yeah, sometimes he's Jeff, sometimes he's Jeff. I'm going to DM him and be like, hey, I'm going to call you Jeff from now on. I hope you're okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so does he not do makeup tutorials anymore? Or well, if you let me okay, finish. Sure. Anyway, so he was he's released two videos, and um, I think he's dating this guy. I don't know if it's a security guard or if it's this guy. He's very cute. His name's Dane. He's in all these videos, like, with him. But, like, I don't think he wants to talk about it. I don't think he wants it to be public. Oh, so now you're blasting thing, him. Second thing... Yeah, I'm blasting Jeffree Star. Got it. Uh, second thing, so he just did a makeup review and like old school, which I loved his makeup. Yeah, with reviews. his star. Yeah, and he like there were like little glimpses of like his actual personality because I think he turns it up for the camera, and it's really cute. I feel like I feel like he's like a sweet person, even though he's like diabolical and like he, you know, is very like he's like a chess player. Yeah, I think there's he's, he's schemed. He schemes. He schemes. He seems like he could be a fun time. Small doses. Yeah. But I know people in the real world that are like that too. Me? No. But fun time, small doses. Yeah. He smokes a lot of weed though. Not my thing. Oh, not my thing either. And he doesn't drink. That's my thing. Yeah. I have energy drinks though. That's not my thing. Yeah, he drinks energy drinks. Sugar-free Red Bull. I mean, if you're going to drink it, why are no, you... No, he drinks Red Bull, like, regular. <clears throat> He's, like, so thin, and he, like, he just eats, like, sugar, and, like, eats, like, absolute dog shit. So, you don't know what it's called? It's called metabolism and genetics. In your 30s? That doesn't... That's not a thing. No, people are, like, that their whole lives, because it's called genetics. Well, like, I used to some be people real thin are just too. skinny. I used to be real thin, too, and now I'm not. Me, too, when I was five. That's a lie. I had, like, a little pot belly. <laughs> I was like chunky as a kid and then I was, I was just, I'm always thin chunky. and then I'm just a, I'm a sturdy bitch. <laughs> You're solid. Solid. Okay. I was showing a house with my client and she's hilarious. And this lady's closet, she had all of the shoe boxes that weren't matching. Like it'd be like, like Keds, but Ked. In, what's a Ked? Or, or like, like a Skechers sneaker. Okay. But inside it said like pink heel. Like, so the box didn't match whatever the heel was, but it was. She wrote she on didn't the box. Like clear. No. To, okay. So she wrote on the boxes and she was like pink heel, and then we, she, my client was like, uh oh, fat black heel. I was like, ooh, a fat heel. I would have went with chunky or yeah. sturdy. Yeah. Sturdy heel, not sturdy fat heel. heel. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm sturdy, not fat. And we both agreed that we're sturdy. Well, did you look in the box and see what it was? No, it was up in the closet. I'm not pulling it down. Oh. See if it was her black, sturdy heel. Hmm. Could have been like a, a sexual object in there. Exactly. More reason to look at it and see what it was. You're the peeper. I know. I'm a peeping Tom. I'm Hide not. Hide your things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time. There's too many people around to snoop. I don't really do it anymore because I feel like there's cameras yeah. everywhere. Listen, when we walk into your closet, I judge you. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I always try to like play a detective and I'm like, Oh, who here's what's here? happening. Yeah. Oh, two gay men or a husband and wife. They're getting divorced. Oh, oh. yeah. Cause there's only one person's clothes. Mm -hmm. Or they're in separate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then you know. Well, but sometimes it's a small house with small closets. So the wife takes up the whole third bedroom as her closet. Right. I love that idea. Like if I had a bigger house, I think that I would turn a bedroom into a closet. With like cute shelves and then like a cute mirror to take selfies in and stuff. Hmm. You should do that to that bedroom up there. No, that's your bedroom for when all hell breaks loose and you want to move in. It's coming. It is coming. It is coming faster than you even know. <sighs> like a bullet. Okay, I tried on, I bought four pairs of Good American Jeans. Yes. Let's give our review. <laughs> okay. Two. Do you know, remember the names? Out of the four. Because that would be helpful. Yeah, I got the good leg or the good. Okay, this is not going well. <laughs> the good straight. Okay. I don't know. Call and I'll link it in the bio if you can figure out how to do <laughs> Absolutely that. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of them was like the good leg, good the good straight leg. I don't know. Um, two out of the four. The girlfriend Jean was the one that we were like hard pass. Too bad. I you. really wanted the good girlfriend to work for me. But it looked like I had a full kangaroo pouch in my crotch. Like there was too much. It was too baggy. Like you sat down and it was just like. Not even sitting down, standing up. It was just like, just no structure. No structure. And maybe that's what the girlfriend Jean, like no, the thought it. is. Yeah. So Luke 
was so sweet. And he was like, when I tried it on, he's like, I think it's just because you don't have a big butt to like stretch the material out in the back to make it smooth in the front. And I was like, <laughs> that's sweet. Wait, I you think. just said you don't have a, a butt? I know, it's but sweet. cause then he's like, I was like, I don't have a butt. And he's, I was like, I kind of have a butt. He's like, no, no, but like a one butt. of those butts. Yeah. And I was like, okay. He's like, good, okay. you know, okay. He's right. I don't have that Kardashian style butt. So if you need extra butt to make the front look smooth, not my jean. Yeah. I've got what we call a high and tight, which sometimes goes flat when you don't work out, but then it pops back up when you do. Agreed? Where are we at right now? Kind of flat. I don't think so. One of those pairs of jeans that looked like you had a BBL. No, I did not. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Okay, the good straights, maybe. That you were like, oh, I hate those jeans when I walk when you walked in. Well, again, and then I took them off my body, tried on two different pairs, put them back on. He's like, oh, I love those. I was like, you just ripped them to shreds and said you hated the length, you hated the fray, you hated how they looked. I had a saggy ass. And then he's like, those, those are different jeans. <laughs> After seeing the other two pairs on your body, I was like, wow, those are like snatched. Snatched. I thought, yeah. I think I could go down a size. They are pretty true to size, I will say this, except for not because one pair, there was like a three inch gap. That button wasn't going to get anywhere near each other. No. And it was the curve. So every morning. It was the curvy one. So one would think that it would have made it around me, but it didn't. I don't really understand what is a curvy girl, like big hips? I think that's And what a butt? I think so, because I think Sam gets curvy. Because she's like... She definitely... Well, she, she doesn't have any hips. She has a butt. She's like, always says, like, go to American Eagle and get the something, something curvy. And then Kendall's like, she doesn't need the curvy. And I was like, thank you, Kendall. Because I think I, I'd have, like, saddlebags. Like, holsters. Because I don't have that. Yeah. I'd have pouches on the side. Your little juice boxes. There like, if it's, like, pouches on the side or one big pouch, in, pouch the in the front. I don't know. But, so, more of the story is, I think they're, they could be but worth... you're going to keep two out two. of the three. Yeah. So, the, the light ones that were... What were... We don't know the name, but... They were cute. They were cute. They're definitely, more like, a summer jean with, yeah. like, a flop or... A van a and a, a flippy flop. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring back my Birkenstocks as a mom. Birkenstocks are in. You better I wear them remember, until they're out. I remember when you were like, I would die if I put that on my foot. And then you bought I've one. I've had Birkenstocks for years. Yeah, and before the years, you were very against it. So at some point, <laughs> at some point you switched. But I remember I, like going to Boulder and you're like, oh, this thing's like, disgusting. Probably. Watch this. Like one day Colin will be in like Crocs. Me. Mark my word. Mm, I don't know. Mark it. Uh, Wednesday. Why are you January 26th at 11.44 a.m. 2022. Are you trying to get Crocs and you're trying to get me on the van wagon or what? Listen, I've decided I kind of want to be the, the realtor that don't does Crocs. Don't you dare. And I'm going to have a whole Croc thing in my trunk so people don't wear their lace-up hooker boots that takes 20 minutes to take off. I'm going to be like, here's your complimentary pair of Crocs for showing. That's actually not a bad idea. Wear them. Yeah. Yeah. I got 10 minutes to sit in a blizzard <laughs> while you unlace your boot. That's so true. I, I actually gave it to my cute clients as an idea. Yeah. And they were, because he came in like full combat boots once. And I'm like, yeah. Matt. And he's like and in there like this. I'm mm. like, Jesus Christ. So then he showed up the next day. He's like, I got the memo. She did it. I was like, where are your Crocs or your slippers? What have we missed? And so then I was like, maybe I should bring Crocs when I first meet clients. And they're like, oh, just have it in your trunk. Like, couple sizes and just give them out and i'm like all right should i brand them like put a remax oh there you go a remax button on them yeah sold tavia galvin wear your crocs um i better get some sort of kickback yeah um wait what was i gonna say oh i always wear a slip all my shoes are like very easy on easy off and then yeah. clients are always like oh yeah and That's... i'm like yeah i've showed a couple houses before yes yeah. this, this is the game easy i feel like when i first started in real estate i would wear like Ones that like buckled on the side, like when I used to wear heels or wedges in the summer, and I'd have ones that like actually had a buckle, and I'd have to sit down and unbuckle them and then yeah, buckle them back much. up. Yeah, I think by the end of it, I would just leave the buckle <laughs> open. I would slip them on and off to the next house, and <laughs> oh, I was so ghetto. But now, yeah, no, we just slip them on and off. I don't have time for shoes. Mm -mm. No, nobody's got time for that. Mm -mm. You got a pair of Crocs upstairs, don't you? And you're just hiding them from me. There's a pair of Crocs outside that are from when I was in high school. They're white. They are they also have like you, what, little cat you, teeth marks in them. Let's from, just back up a little bit. You still have a pair of shoes from high school. They're Crocs. They're indestructible. I also mow the grass in them. Oh my 
God, are you serious? You like just really, you just really hit. What went down a notch? I am I look at you a relatable. I look at you a little bit differently now. I'm relatable. You really hit. I'm relatable. I'm relatable to every other person out there who still has Crocs from high school. <laughs> I only have one pair. And they might not even be from high school. I know I had a pink pair and a yellow pair in high school. And these ones are white. You had two? Like, I clearly had three at one point. And these ones are white. Did you wear them to class? Uh, we wore them, like, in basketball. When we had a game day, we'd wear them on the, um, the bus. I just cannot even get behind this. Well, newsflash, all the high schooler kids wear them now. I know. They're, all, they're in. They're back. All the, like, hot... Um, That's why I guarantee they're going to be on your feet this summer. And I'm going to be like, huh. Oh. The hot bodybuilders, like, wear them at the gym now. And I'm like, ooh, you just... It took you down two notches. Have you ever worn them? No. I've heard they're really bad for your feet because you have to like grip to like keep them on. I don't and it's think bad that's for your actually true. What structure? They're very, they're squishy and cozy. I think they probably cause plantar fasciitis and that's where you got it from. Actually, my plantar fasciitis has not been acting up, so I would really appreciate it if you wouldn't have put that out there. I have arthritis in my finger. Did I tell you that? Especially that finger. Why this one? I don't know. What do you do with that? Is that your tickle finger? No. Do you do that? Do what? Tickle. Put it in boys' butts. You boop. <laughs> <laughs> Not very often. Oh yeah, what's going on with your love life? We only have a few minutes. Oh yeah. Oh god. Um, Is there more? Is there new stuff? Colin doesn't tell me things anymore. That's not true. I don't want to say anybody's names, but I am seeing kind of someone. You are. Maybe a couple people. <laughs> I don't really know what's happening. I really don't know what's happening. I just don't, I think I get, I think I need to, remember my word is discovery. I think I need to get my mind right before I can get into a relationship. Right, you're going to therapy. So I feel like- Have uh, we started that yet? I'm just kind of stringing people along and it's just, it's not good. Ask me about my love life. Uh, we know. Still with the same guy. <laughs> There's no it's update. It's steamy. There's no update. Nope, he rubbed my feet last night though. Right oh, there. sweet. On the couch. I tried to lay on it, mm -hmm. like this. While we were watching, and I was like, your belly is just, it's like, Tavia! No, it wasn't cushy enough for me. It was oh. too flat. Uh. And I was like, uh, 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 down here, and I was like, come on. So you were really and then like, he's like, go with him? Yes, and I was like, oh. and I was like you're just, it's not comfy. Like, he's not fluffy in that aspect. And he's like, we'll get a pillow. And then I was like, no, then my next, like, Kh. I was like, you know what? We'll just switch back to the feet. <laughs> Well, at least you tried. I did. I give, you, I give you an A for trying. And then I tried to snuggle on his arm, but he was doing something. So every time he moved, my whole head was like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> and I thought, okay, this is a this is a convenient. And then he was trying to eat ice cream, and I was just waiting for it to drop on my head. <laughs> we are so hot and steamy over here. Y'all are jealous. <laughs> you, it was coffee ice cream, too. Did you guys used to snuggle? Like back in high school? Yeah, probably. We were like, did I ever tell you we s about the neighbor situation? We did talk about that last time. Yeah. How we spied on the yeah. neighbor. Yeah. Yeah, we used to be like that. We just like couldn't take your hands off of each other. I love it snuggling. That's I my know. favorite thing. Like I just love to like cuddle up and snuggle. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. When people <laughs> stare in your eyes. Oh my god. I think they're just trying to look into your dark soul. They're like, is there anything in there? Hello? Lights on? <laughs> nope, nothing's there. Sorry. You can keep look all you want. It's, it's gone. Um, the light is gone. The light is dim. Yeah. I mean, when I look in your eyes, they're so dark. I just can't even see anything. Do you see anything in mine? Mm -hmm. What do you see? They're green. They're very green. <laughs> <laughs> that was scary. Um. Okay, we are close to our time. and. Okay, you wrap us up. And God, take that us goes out. so fast. Hurry up. You can catch us on... Um, Channel 7. <laughs> if you put your antenna up, you might even catch us on one of those weird channels Live. like 13. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you so much for watching us. You can catch us Tuesday mornings at 6 a.m. on Spotify, iTunes, and YouTube. Uh, you can check out my Instagram. It's Collins Cosmos. You cannot check out mine because I am is, private. Hers is blocked up. And I don't have time for that. Nobody got time for that. Um, but it's been amazing. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. And, uh, well, that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> I'll see you next week.